You see, every single miner in the world halted silver production. There was no more silver production. No more. What would happen to the world? Well, uh, because you have about four or five billion ounces of silver in refined form, mm-hmm. you know, bullion or bullion coins, uh, there's silver there. The price of silver would have to rise to encourage some of those investors to sell it. Uh, and that probably would mean a price between, say, $35 and $45 an ounce. Uh, so if you had a highly unlikely scenario that every mine stopped producing silver yes. in the world, a hypothetical you know, that would be it. Now, I'll take it one step further. Because 80% of the silver is mined as byproduct of copper, lead, zinc, and gold, and copper, lead, and zinc are uh, very important metals for overall economic activity, everything from housing to transportation uh, you know, to, to infrastructure. Uh, if you had all of the mines that produce silver closed, you would be losing a significant portion of copper, lead, and zinc. You're talking about a massive world uh, financial collapse. So it's highly unlikely. And in that kind of environment, silver would be the least worrisome problem. You'd be much more worried about getting your copper, lead, and zinc because they're even more important to overall economic activity. Which sectors of the economy require silver the most, Jeff? Well, right now, the biggest growth has been in solar uh, panels. That is not the biggest use. Uh, Well, the way we divide up fabrication demand, the biggest use is electronics and uh, batteries right now. And and the batteries are the smaller batteries. It's mostly electronics. And there's a whole range of products that use silver in various electrical connectors and contacts and in semiconductors and in other applications. Uh, automobiles are taking a large amount of silver, almost exclusively used in automotive electronics, not necessarily electric cars. Electric cars probably take about two ounces of silver per car. A standard gasoline or diesel powered vehicle probably takes about one and a half ounces of, of silver. Uh, so there's a significant amount of silver that goes into automobiles, but it's used throughout the electronics industry. It's also used in medical devices, jewelry, and silverware. That's a big op- application, and that's very price sensitive. So if the price of silver starts rising, the first place where you see cutbacks are jewelry and silverware, because they're more discretionary things. You need the silver in electronics. You need the silver in solar panels. You need it in medical devices, solders and brazing alloys, mirrors, uh, silver line glass, which has some uh, uh, a capacity to reduce the uh, uh, heating and air conditioning costs of buildings and uh, just countless other applications. Would you classify silver as a strategic metal, Jeff? I am not in charge of what, saying what uh, metals are, but no, I wouldn't. Uh, strategic metals are metals that have integ- you know, very important applications, but have relatively limited sources of supply and silver is mined in dozens of countries around the world so and there are four or five billion ounces of refined silver in refined silver form above ground so the people who call who decide you know governments and militaries who decide what metals are critical what metals are 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 strategic don't count silver as a strategic metal In World War II, it was considered a strategic metal, but over the course of the 50s into the early 60s, the U.S. Defense Department said silver is not a strategic metal. We have uh, a bunch of silver in our strategic stockpile. We want to sell it. 